For this project we need a rolling pin, something to help evenly roll out the clay, I use chopsticks, some tools to cut circles, something to cut the clay and of course polymer clay. I decided to use white and some more pastel tones, but you can get creative with your color choices. For the first ways I wanted to do some simple white flowers. I used the chopsticks on each side to get a consistent thickness of the clay. The vase you use has to be safe for baking in the oven because we're gonna put it in there with the clay attached. I decided to use a small vase for the bigger flowers. For those I start with 5 circles for every flower. To create the petal shape, I lightly press the circles together with two fingers. I also clean the edges so they're smooth on both sides. For the center of the flower I used a light yellow. Again you first need to condition the clay until it's soft and then roll it out like before. I use a circle a few sizes smaller than for the petals. If you don't have a different size you can just make little clay balls with your fingers and use those instead. When all the petals are finished, I start to put them on the vase. They are really easy to arrange and you can always rearrange them until you're happy. After that I just put the yellow circles in the middle of every flower. The circles should be big enough so it connects all the petals. This will help a lot later when you need to take the flowers off and glue them on the vase again. For the second phase, I wanted to try different sized flowers in two colors. I decided to use pink and a green I mixed with white to get a lighter color. The process is the same as before, but this time I used two circles that are smaller than the ones before.
start attaching the four bigger flowers first and then added the small ones. For the center I needed a smaller size again, but it would also work with a clay ball you just form with your fingers. I make sure all of the flowers are well attached to the vase and then it's time to put them in the oven. That's what they look like after baking, make sure they are completely cooled down. The last step is to take off one flower at a time and glue them on with super glue. They should come off really easy and hopefully in one piece. The hardest part is to remember how and where to put the flowers back on again. Now I just repeat the same step with all the flowers. I hope you got some inspiration for your next project and if you like it, please like it. <laughs>